We help parents. What do we help them do? <laughs> and longer episodes on the <laughs> I can I can like feel when you're like trying to hold I'm it in. Sorry. All of these books can be found on Audible, and that one specifically, Jen is powerful when it comes to listening to her read the book. She's hysterical. So if you're driving or anything like that and you just want to listen to something funny but still inspirational, that is a book for you. Today we're diving into 10 powerful leadership books you absolutely need to read in 2023. Like they say, success leaves clues, so why not look back at the people who've had the most success and literally be able to read about it in a very quick book? Now here's the thing, there's hundreds of thousands of books published just on leadership. It can get a little bit daunting making a decision on which ones to read, which is why we went through our entire cabinet and picked out the 10 most powerful leadership books that you absolutely need to read or maybe even reread for 2023. If you're ready to do that with us, let's go. Welcome to Modern Leadership, where we see things differently. We help parents become modern leaders so they can excel personally and professionally without burning themselves out or sacrificing family time. How we do that is quick tip videos on Mondays and Thursdays and longer episodes on the weekends to help personalize this for your specific leadership role. If you're new, consider subscribing, but let's get right into these top 10 books right now. Okay, book number one is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Dr. Stephen Covey. This book is all about powerful habits and lessons in personal change. I agree. That is a really, really powerful book. Now, book number two is The 21 Irrefutable Laws by John Maxwell. If you have not picked this up, this book really breaks down these different laws of leadership, and it doesn't matter where you are in the organization. This will give you the strategies that you can use to actually lead people and create massive influence. Book number three is one of my favorites, and this is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. This book is all about confidence and she really breathes belief into you so you can stop doubting yourself and really live to your fullest potential. You know, we didn't really talk about this, but all of these books can be found on Audible and that one specifically, Jen is powerful when it comes to listening to her read the book. She's hysterical. So if you're driving or anything like that and you just want to listen to something funny, but still inspirational, that is a book for you. All right, book number four is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. This one is all about taking personal responsibility for the things that you can control. I love this because it also fits in with the ideas and concepts that I learned in life coaching and getting you to take ownership of the things that you can control so that you can control even the things that you can't. All right, book number five, I don't have a physical copy because I just listened to the audio, but it's Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. She shares a lot of great insight on how to courageously be a leader. She helps guide you through those really tough moments in leadership that we are all afraid of, but don't have the courage to move forward with. Yeah, Brene Brown is a really powerful leader. Any of her books are incredible, but she has this way of just being authentic, being the real her, and she leads from this place of integrity. I really value that. So book number six is Unf Yourself by Gary John Bishop. Now you may have heard that I did a book breakdown on this. That's how much of an impact this book has had in my life. It's really about getting out of your head and into your life, getting you to take the actions that you need to take. I highly suggest this book and one that you might want to read 32 different times. <laughs> Book number seven is one of both of our favorites, and it's Atomic Habits by James Clear. Now, this book is all about leading yourself because he really dives deep into the little things that you can do every single day to create long lasting change. And these are the mini atomic habits that you can do so that it doesn't feel so overwhelming to start making changes in your life. Book number eight is The One Thing by Gary Keller. Now, this book is very powerful because it helps you minimize the number of things that you're putting your time and attention on. It really helps you solidify the one thing that's going to make the biggest impact in your life. And when you go all in with that, you're not scattered, so you get more results. Book number nine is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Now, this book is really about honing in on why you're doing what you're doing. And this is a great way to inspire others in your organization or those who lead to take action. Yeah, there's a lot of powerful life coaching principles in that book too, because ultimately when you want to get yourself to take action, you have to ask yourself what you're fighting for. You got to get to your real deep why. But as a leader, you need to paint that picture for other people as well. Book number 10 is The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Now, this one has been huge when it comes to not only the relationship that I have with Teresa, but also with my kids. Understanding how we all have different love languages, and in order to fill up everybody else's love bank, we have to speak in their specific language, not ours. 
Now, you might have just heard these 10 books and you might be ready to pick one up, but I want to narrow this down to just one. What if you can only pick one for you to dive into and maybe even read it multiple times? Which book would that be? It would be The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. No matter how many times I've read this, every time I see it with a different set of eyes. It gets me to level up on an entirely different level because you're in different places every time you read it. It's the book that has really kept giving back to me. Now, to make this even easier for you, I actually took out the five most impactful laws of these 21 laws and did a really quick video to break it down for you. If you're somebody who wants to check it out, I'll leave it right up here on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. And thank you very much for leading from the front. Bye, everybody. Oh, it wasn't recording. <laughs> you ready? All right, book one. Book, <laughs> <laughs> book one. <of> <laughs> book number three is one of my favorites, and this is You Are About Us by Jen Sincero. <laughs> you even said it right. Why are you like? Mm -hmm. That was awesome. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> I know, but I'm just like trying to think. <laughs> Myself right now. I just dropped the book. Boom! I am. I'm nervous. It's the first time I've been around a girl. <laughs> now, book number six. You may have seen this on my. <laughs> I'm like freaking over here. Can you see how powerful these books are? Actually, you probably can't see because you, you haven't read them yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.